friends the bible states that there was a war in heaven and lucifer claimed that he would make a better leader than god so god placed lucifer on our planet and asked him to build a kingdom as good as his heaven and thereby prove to him and his angels what he said was true now a kingdom needs citizens for this purpose we were created so building kingdoms is lucifer's assignment ever since the dawn of human civilization he has been doing a lousy job of it by the way lucifer and his demons inhabit the abyss which is under the oceans after the flood of noah Lucifer tried to continue his kingdom building by sending the so-called sages and the water nymphs who were his fallen fellow rebels to shape the societies of the world in the way he wanted them. Today he tries to mask all these with his modern education. He says it's all mythology. However, These things are very evident from ancient Indian and Sumerian literature. For example, yoga, which is popular in the western countries nowadays, was given to us by one of these fallen entities named Patanjali, who was a serpent from the abyss with a human head. Historian Barossus, who lived in the 4th century BC, wrote of an entity named Oannes that taught the Sumerians language, science, arts, architecture, geometry, botany, agriculture, and every other useful knowledge. When I first heard about all this, I couldn't help but imagine some creatures walking out of the sea and communicating with the people. Apparently, things had been more refined. I just saw it in a movie. The story is set in the sunken land of Kumari Kandam, which used to be the continuation of the southern tip of India. What you see here is inside a king's palace. Beyond these two doors is off limits even to the palace staff. In fact, it is a portal to the spirit world. In the story, there seems to be an emergency in the kingdom. The prince is rushing to the palace. He needs to get some guidance from the goddess herself. He arrives at the palace and rings the bell just as the pagan deities are invoked by ringing bells even today. The door opens, the spirit on the other side conjures into a form of a beautiful woman and walks out through a smoke screen. Everyone greets her with exulting words of adoration and then the deity hears them out. and tells them what to do in that particular situation these were the nature of things in those days friends now do we think i am pushing the envelope too far well hardly 700 years before jesus the mighty roman empire was established with the guidance of a water nymph named igeria from the lucifer's abyss Then, how are we going to account for the black goddess on top of the White House dome today? Thanks for watching.